Okay. Quinolin from indole. The sequence is indole, plus CH2, Cl2, that is dichloromethane. plus pH Li. It is acting as the base and it will give us the required quinoline. Now the mechanism is like that. At first the hydrogen of dichloromethane will be attracted by pH minus and form a anion and this anion lose a chlorine and give us the carbon and carbon is always the electron deficient compound now the base again attack the acidic hydrogen of indole and form the anion of indole the conjugate base of indole then in the next step this conjugate base will attack the electron deficient carbon in this step the and negative ion will go to resonance to this side and it attracted to the carbon to this position to the number 3 position number 3 the and negative charge does not go to resonance to this side because if it will go to the resonance with in this side then the aromaticity of this benzene nucleus will lost and the nature does not want this so that this anion this negative charge goes to resonance this side and attack to the three position and give us a compound like this And as this electron deficient element gains the electron so that there is a negative charge formed on the carbon. This negative charge will attack to this position and again regain the negative charge on nitrogen. In the next step, the compound is like that. Now, the um, always uh, uh, this is a ring closure uh, mechanism, and a ring always wants to gain the aromaticity to stabilize the system. So, to gain the aromaticity, it will go to this direction, and this bond will go to this direction, and the chlorine will get out of this compound, and then we get this if. Uh, we number put the numbers in them 1 2 3 4 5 then 
we get like this double bond in between 1 and 2 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 number of compound in the second heterocycle and the double bond in between 1 and 2 and another double bond in between 3 and 4 1 2 3 4 and this is our required quinoline